Welcome to Excel Basics video number 22. Hey, in this video, we got to see how to set the default pivot table layout and options in Excel 2016, Office 365, or later. Now, edit default layout in a pivot table? That is amazing. We've created 20 pivot tables in the class so far, and every time we had to change the report layout to tabular form manually. So this is going to be an amazing time saver. Now, why didn't we see this earlier in the class? Because we don't have this option in our computer labs. And right now, it's only if you bought the Office 365 version of Excel 2016. Now, the great news is that this feature will be available in all future versions. So just in case you have Office 365 or just in case you're going to be using Excel for years to come, let's see how to use this amazing feature. Here's a proper data set. I'm going to create a quick pivot table using our keyboard, Alt and V. I'm going to put this on the existing sheet location, G6. Click OK. From the field list, I drag region to rows, sales to values. And there it is, the entire class. We have to change row labels and then later column labels by going to design, over to layout, report layout, show in tabular. Now when I click that, now I get the field names. Now, when we go and look at this option in just a moment, all of these settings are available. We can set whether or not we want blank rows. We could actually insert a blank line after each item. We can do any of these, including repeat all item labels. Now, two videos ago, we saw a country product category pivot table where it listed country only one time. But if we always wanted to repeat them, we could select that. We have options over grand totals and subtotals. All of these are available. Now, another thing that's available in this default setting, right click the pivot table. And pivot table has a bunch of options you could set. In layout and format, you can change things like auto fit column widths on update. So as you look through these, if there's some of them that you want to set as a default, you can do that too. I'm going to click Escape. Now, notice I have my cursor in the pivot table, and I've changed one of the settings. Now, here's what we do. We go up to File, down to Options. That opens the Excel Options dialog box. We go down on the left to Data. Over here, Default Layout for Pivot Tables. We click Edit Default Layout. And there it is. We've been waiting for this dialog box for years. And finally, Microsoft gives it to us. Now, what's also amazing is the first text box is Layout Import. So whatever settings for options and layout I had in this pivot table, I could simply click Import, and it would change them. Notice the default is Compact. When I click Import, it changes that one. Now, you can go through each one of these for subtotals, grand total, report layout, repeat all items, insert blank rows, and even pivot table options, and change those. But once you click OK, those are now the defaults. Click OK. I come back to the data set. Alt and V, I'm going to put it on this existing sheet. I'm trying to, going to select G13. Click OK. Now when I drag region down to rows, sales down to values, that is absolutely beautiful. Now, that was just a quick Excel basics. So we know that you either have this feature with Office 365, or we know we'll be getting it soon. All right, we'll see you next Excel basics video.